The sad thing is you see a, a kids, our kids' age and your kids' age, a minor in their early 20s, who grew up with technology but have very little understanding of it. They, they're users entirely, and they don't really understand it. That's um, Unfortunately, that's my generation and the generation after um, have that problem. Yeah, uh, I see it all the time with, with friends of mine from school of the same age as me. They just look at me like, I don't understand how you understand that thing. Right. And On they the think hand, because they use it, they do understand it. That's maybe yeah. even more dangerous, right? Yeah, yeah, because they're, cause they're just, just going through the motions. Right. But if you look at the next generation, you look at, like, beyond the millennials, and you look at, like, my kids, as an example, they're terrifying. Okay, they have a slightly <laughs> unusual dad. But, <laughs> but that's good. I'm glad they're terrifying. <laughs> I've actually, I've refused to teach them hacking. What? My eldest, my 15-year-old, came up to me about six months ago. She said, I want you to teach me how to hack. Yeah. And I'm like, I tell you what, I'll set you these programming exercises and I'll set you this goal. If you do it, I'll start to teach you the basics. And her um, her auntie, Kristen Paget, came around with another copy of uh, a really good hacking book and said, you read that and then we'll help. So tell so me, all right, so tell me, where would you, okay, where did you start? What what language did you start her with? What tasks did you start her with? What books did you start her with? So I actually started her with C, Python, and there's a, a media lab um, uh, programming language called Scratch. I love Scratch. And the nice thing yeah. about it is it's an object-oriented language that yeah. gives instant gratification. So if they want to build a maze, they can just go and right. build a maze. It's small talk, But if they basically. want to do code, they yeah. can do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's got a Raspberry Pi to build some stuff on. Good. And, and there's a book, I think it's literally just called Hacking, which is one of the early uh, hacking books which uh, teaches you the art of hacking. Truthfully, it's, that should be enough. If she doesn't yeah. have the motivation to go beyond that, then it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. That's our point. Yeah. I, I don't want to force feed her right. things because some of the exploration is where you also get the moral uh, compass oh, for how to handle it. You know, how do I now, how, now that I have a method for opening up everyone's email, how do I respond to that? What do I do? How do I behave in a, in a, in a, in a sensible way? What are norms anymore? You know, there's some bizarre and, and unfortunate things I did when I had access when I was younger. And I, I kind of regret some of them. 